The most iconic physiques in Hollywood include Arnold Schwarzenegger, Jason Momoa, Michael B. Jordan, Chris Hemsworth, and The Rock. But what makes these physiques so iconic? In bodybuilding, when constructing the most aesthetic physique, we speak of symmetry, and specifically for the upper body, the V-taper. This superhuman look begins with the shoulders. Having cap deltoids are highly sought after. The width of your shoulders establishes your presence in any room. It's the first thing that catches your eye. When I started training, I wanted to grow wider shoulders and delts with the hopes of having them stand out and broaden my upper frame. I wanted to look like Goku. In my eight years of training, I prioritized my shoulders at least twice a week to get my dream physique. During this time, I've concluded that there are specific exercises that help with the development of the perfect shoulders. In this video, I've married the science and my experience. I've narrowed down the best exercise to construct an iconic Hollywood physique. I'll show you the five best exercises to help maximize growth for your shoulders and have them looking wider and broader. But before we assess the exercises, it's important to understand the anatomy and the function of the deltoid. But before we break down the science and exercises, this lets me know and the YouTube algorithm know that you want more of this kind of content. Do me the massive favor, slowly scroll down and depress your thumb on the like button. Okay, that's it, let's get into the anatomy. The deltoid. It's a muscle, it's a large triangular shaped one that lies over the glenohumeral joint and which gives the shoulder its rounded contour. It's comprised of three distinct portions, anterior or clavicular portion, medial or acromial portion, and posterior or spinal portion. The anterior deltoid, also known as the front delt, its origin, lateral third, anterior surface of the clavicle, the lateral deltoid, origin, a coromium process, lastly, posterior deltoid, the rear delt, origin, spine of the scapula, posterior border, fibers from all heads converge to insert into the deltoid tuberosity on the humerus. The shoulder is a ball and socket joint, giving the arm freedom for rotational movement. For the sake of this video, we'll focus on the muscle's primary function. The anterior deltoid is responsible for shoulder flexion or raising your shoulder up. The lateral deltoid performs shoulder abduction, raising your arm to the side. The rear deltoid or posterior deltoid ensures horizontal abduction. Let's start with the anterior deltoid. A popular 2010 study by Trebs and colleagues showed that the anterior delt has adequate stimulation in chest pressing movements, including the flat bench press and any inclined dumbbell or barbell chest press. According to the EMG data from the study, the flatter the press, the less activation the anterior deltoid muscle gets. As the incline angle increases, so does the reliance of the front deltoid muscle. Therefore, any exercise like the barbell press or a dumbbell press are pivotal in muscle activation of the front delt. More shoulder activation is achieved with a higher incline. So let's get into exercise one, barbell or dumbbell press. Barbell and shoulder press form the foundation of an effective shoulder workout. These movement emphasizes the anterior deltoid heavily involving the other two delts as well. They also lend themselves well to heavy weightlifting. A 2013 study compared EMG data of four overhead press variations using 80% of the one rep max, measuring all three heads of the delts, which included the standing overhead barbell press, standing dumbbell overhead press, seated barbell press, and seated dumbbell press. The research concluded that the most effective being the overhead standing dumbbell press. To make sure that I'm taking advantage of all my options, I include the standing and seated dumbbell press variations to improve my chances of progressive overload and to also add variation to my training program as they are great alternatives. I like to designate two days of the week for shoulders, so I would make sure to include an overhead press as my primary shoulder exercise on the first day, and on the second day of my shoulder workout, I'll alternate that with a seated dumbbell press, which is further supported by the study of Boak, Burns, and Buskies. Exercise two, dumbbell lateral raises. Next up, is the lateral deltoid, also known as the lateral head. According to the EMG data from Boak, Burns, and Buskies, dumbbell lateral raises with internal rotation is by far the most superior exercise for the lateral delt. The movement looks simple, but if performed improperly, it's easy to feel like you're doing a lot with actually less deltoid involvement. Without going too deep into the science, this is the best way to do the lateral raise. 
grip the dumbbell at the head in a closed grip. Before starting the movement, allow a slight bend in the elbows, no more than 15 degrees. As a beginner, make sure you keep your arms locked in that position throughout the movement. I also advise using a lighter weight to ensure that you maintain your form. Slightly bend your torso forward and start off the movement and imagine that there's a string attached to the elbow being pulled upwards. Allow a sweeping motion. Your elbow should always lead above your hand. Midway through the motion, imagine pouring water out of a cup with a slight internal rotation. Some studies have shown that this may increase risk of injury at the cost of better activation, but this is reduced with a slight bend in the torso. That being said, see what is most comfortable for you. The major downfall of using the dumbbell in this movement is that the fibers are maximally optimized in the final half of the movement. That brings us to exercise number three, cable lateral raises. Like the dumbbell lateral raise, this movement prioritizes shoulder abduction by lifting the cable weight to your side, but at an angle. With this motion, we're bringing more tension to the first half of the movement as opposed to the dumbbell raises. Doing cable lateral raises allows for the constant tension throughout the exercise. It's important to include these in your training program by having them done on different days when training shoulders. This should maximize your potential for the desired shoulder look and size. It'll only improve your delts. Personally, it allowed me the most gains in my off season. Exercise four, the reverse pec deck. This exercise is a rare delt focused movement and ensures to get that 3D look that most of us desire. However, it's by far the least trained of the three heads. To truly develop the rear delt, it's crucial to include an isolation movement that adequately stimulates the delt for growth. Here are the best exercises to properly develop the rear delt for growth. The reverse pec deck or reverse fly is shown to cause the most muscle recruitment in the rear delt. But what grip is the most beneficial? A 2013 study by strength and condition research have shown that the neutral grip when performing exercise with the reverse fly machine, the neutral hand position significantly increases the activity of the posterior deltoid and the infraspinatus muscle compared to the pronated hand grip. Exercise five, face pulls. And the final exercise is face pulls. Now face pulls are fantastic for hitting your traps and your rear delts. And it helps also in terms of improving your overall shoulder health, especially your rotator cuff. So that's definitely an exercise I would recommend. And even in my own experience, if I am trying to improve my physique, something that's lacking massively compared to my deltoid is my rear delt. So face pulls is something you definitely need to include, but I'll leave it there. Please do include that one just to give yourself that overall 3D look. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comment section down below which was your favorite part. Also leave the video the like and subscribe to enter into the giveaway for the next video. And I'll show you guys some of the guys who won. They absolutely love their gift card. So again, it's a $100 gift card that I'm giving out. All you need to do is like, comment, and subscribe. And finally, a lot of my clients that I started with in March just completed their transformation. So I have a few spots left open. I'm looking for five busy professionals who wanna transform their physique. If you're having a hard time, you need help, you want to make a commitment, go through the application in the description box below and I'm looking forward to be working with you, but I'll see you guys on the other side. I'll see you on Wednesday. Cheers.